Hi everyone, welcome to the Pentra Adventurer um, and today it's an update on the um, uh, the Brompton Touring Bike that I'm building. Um, so um, there was the initial introduction which uh, a video which um, you know might, if you go back and watch that it may, may make uh, a bit more sense about what, what I'm trying to achieve um, here. So um, since since that video, which was a few months ago, I've made uh, made some progress on reassembling the uh, the Brompton, so we got it back on some wheels, and uh, I've made a few purchases. And many, you know, I I also should take this opportunity to say thank you to uh, everyone who commented and and all the um, the good advice that, that you gave. So. Um, Let's, um, rather than talk too much, I've got a bit of a crib sheet because there are a number of things I want to make sure I, uh, I tell you and I'm quite capable of forgetting them along the way. And then when I edit the video, half the stuff I wanted to say has disappeared. So um, if I keep looking at this, you know why. Okay, so all right, so um, I'll be back in a second and we'll have a look at the, uh, the bike and, and the bits and pieces that I've bought, okay. Right, so here we are. We're back with the um, the old um, uh, the Brompton. Uh, as you can see, she's back on the wheels. Uh, we've got some mud guards on there. We've got some brakes. I managed to pick up a a, a rack, which um, second hand on eBay. Um, I'm trying to do this without uh, going crazy on the budget. Um, We've got the physics saddle. I was doing some work in one of the sheds, and I actually found this one. I obviously bought it, but never. Got around to using it so as i keep talking about in in my bike related videos i'm always keen to have the touch points the same so saddle handbar grips pedals um, just so it's all very familiar and uh, you don't get into too much trouble so uh what else have i got um oh yeah i managed to get another block for the bag to go on so that was good um yeah, yeah, I was going to change the levers, but I think I'll just stick with them to start with because, as, a, as I've already said, you know, it's it's not about throwing money, it's about trying to sort of uh, do it on a budget, really. Um, so that's the bike, so it's cleaned up, it's it, it's ready, really, to be uh, reassembled further. Um, so let's... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, so one of the things... I just looked at my crib sheet. One of the things um, I've decided not to go with initially is uh, a front dynamo. Now that's basically because um, I, you know, I'm not getting any uh, younger, and I don't really know how much strength I have once I have my hip done. So um, the, I think I'm going to initially try without the dynamo, um, and then maybe if I've still got a reasonable amount of strength introduce one later on so uh, yeah that was um and the other thing is if i buy a decent set of lights that fit this brompton they they can also fit on the other one i'd far rather have one good set that takes me a few minutes just to switch over between bikes um then have two not so good sets so um yeah so that's my logic on there um the other thing is I, I'm, I sort of keep changing my mind regarding what tyres to get. So any comments will be fine. I sort of part, <clears throat> I quite like the idea, I watched Terry's bikes and his Brompton and he did a review on, on the tyres he's fitted and <clears throat> oh, by his own admission he's not done as many miles this year as previously but he hadn't got any punches. But I think the ones he's got um, a folding one so that I quite like that idea so I could take a spare tyre on longer journeys. Um, so, um, yeah, yeah, I was jury still a bit out on that. Um, let's have a quick look down the uh, thingy. Yeah, and the other thing is, if you watch uh, one of Andrew Marshall's videos, he does a fabulous thing with the um, the, the seat pin. He's... he's Effectively, he put another seat pin down here, fits clamps onto the same, and then he puts a luggage block onto the onto the second seat pin, 
and then that allows him to basically have like a big saddlebag with a and that and that really has sort of sparked my thoughts on there so um i'm not sure i'm just gonna straight copy what andrew's done well you know not that there's anything wrong with that but um just want to try and make sure i've got something that fits my needs and to be honest i haven't got a bags of the same type that Andrew's got, I can't remember what it was. And I think it, you know, his design is to be able to make that bag work. So, jury's out on that a bit, but I do, you know, definitely worth watching Andrew's video because it's, it's pretty, it's clever what he's done, you know. Okay, so um, let's have a look at some of the bits and bobs I've bought. So I've bought a, uh, these are old um, cranks, uh, probably from the 70s or 80s. Uh, Seiki Royal there um, and um, they're 165s again um, as I keep going on about the um, the range of movement you know so um, I, I think in the um, I, I think in the previous video I talked about having a different set of from the uh, specialized Langster so I'm going to be able to put some 165s on the black Brompton so these are 165s um, and they've got uh, one um, 144 pitch circle diameter. So the the idea was that that was really what I wanted because I've got an awful lot of chain rings associated with 144. So if you have a look over here, we've got loads of them. And that's a brand new Royce one over there. And then a track bag, I've got another load there. Now these are all, I mean you can see some are, are not the best in the world, but what it does allow me to do is experiment with um, with different chain rings of different sizes, you know we've got right down, I don't know what size, it's a 42 I guess it probably is, I uh, can't, can't see, but yeah yeah, probably is a 42. Um, so it, it just allows me to do some experimenting with gears um, and reuse equipment I got you know you probably wouldn't want to ride around on something that, that looked like this but for experimenting purposes it's tickety boo you know um, now one of the challenges well not challenges but um, things I had I sort of knew but I hadn't really taken 100% into account the uh, the Brompton uh, bottom bracket so that's a one uh, 119 millimeter a long one now I slid the slid the cranks on there and um, what I was getting was the the shift a bit here for your derailleur it would it would touch that so there are, so what I've actually got is a genuine Seiki Royal uh, bottom bracket which is 120 so it, it's one mil further which should give me the clearance the other thing, if anyone's thinking of um, of doing this, I think the uh, the the tapers, although they're on all the these square tapers are um, two degree taper. There are two different types. There's um, an ISO one, which uh, um, like Campagnolo use, um, and then there's also a JI. Hang on, I've got it written down. JIS um, uh, taper. Now, this, as I say, they're still they're all two degrees, <coughs> but basically they don't all start at the same same. Uh, you know, if you were to measure the end there, there would be a difference between a JIS and a ISO one. So effectively, it you can if you try and mix match the taper in there and the, and the taper in there you can get the the crank moving being positioned slightly differently so so what i've got now is a matching set so that should and being the extra millimeter um wider that should get me the clearance on there um, because the, it was t the crank not the not the chain ring. Now I've also got, as you can see, I've got, it's a double chain ring. So, um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go with a double chain ring. Um, 
and I haven't worked out how to try and create a front direct, front changer um, and I don't even know where, whether I will and I don't know what size chain rings are still lots to um, uh, work out and so I managed to find a Brompton um, so we got a, a wide ratio um, three speed hub here so that's good so what I want to do is sit down and do some calculations because although I've got the ability to have two sprockets and the three speed so I've got six there now with these two effectively I'm going to have 12 gears but what I don't want them to do is have it so effectively um, I've got I've really got a lot overlapping of ratios so I just need to sit down um, and spend a few minutes calc well probably take me more than a few minutes but doing some calculations and seeing if I can come up with a uh, a chain ring and sprocket combination to give me as many gears as I as I possibly can or as many uh, what's the word um, unique gears from the the 12 that I will have available now I've got in my mind that I will try and run on the outside ring most of the time and then, but if I come to a like a murderous hill that are it's impossible even if I haven't got a front changer I can just manually drop it onto there now I don't believe I can have too much variation in these two rings because of the uh, the um, it's not on there at the moment but the derailleur I don't think it will compensate I think looking at it there's around about five five or six tooth um, variation it, it can manage so that's again something to uh, experiment with so that's um, that's where we got with some cranks and as I say we got this was a brand new uh, wheel that was taken off um, well, so, I don't know so it's, it's not been used it's just a brand new one I know it's not silver like the other ones but the price was right so I got that um, so what have we got here so we've got pedals and derailleurs and the gear uh, gears I guess yeah rear mech uh, chain so we've got a proper Brompton chain so that's cool um, and what I've got is an old box and what I, what I came out with the idea oh yeah we've got the extra bit for the uh, six speed so we've got that I need to get that so yeah so the idea was just to have a box and as I'm building the bike just leave any tools in here that I use so then that should give me some sort of idea of the the, the tools that I need um, to transport around with me when I go now I'm clearly not going to take some of the bigger ones but it will just start to build a bit of an idea of of a reasonable toolkit now I've got this thing uh, from Blackburn and I thought this would be ideal but actually it failed at the first attempt because I was putting the uh, luggage block on and it's not long enough so um, so that wasn't so good. <coughs> this is a this is a Campagnolo peanut butter spanner it's called so this is a, a 15 mil so it's ideal for the um, the wheel nuts and also it fits the the chain ring um, uh, bolts so uh, that will come with me and I think they were in the old six day events uh, on the track they were called peanut butter spanners I think this is probably from the 70s or 80s um, and you could scoop out peanut butter with it so it could be a cooking imp implement when I get out and about so yeah the idea is just to use store the tools in the box and then I've got a good idea of what I truly need to have um, a, a reasonable toolkit when I'm out and about. Um, the other thing uh, I want to do, um, I've got these big O-rings and a chunk of aluminium. So I want to make uh, some, uh, I think they're called easy wheels, so I've got one, two, uh, three, four. Now, this would be about, so the, if I turn this down, put a groove in, can fit the band over, chop it off, I can, there's enough material here to make four. I'll do that over on the other channel, but, um, and I'll let, I'll let, well, 
when I've done it, when you see the update on the on the on the tour and bike, clearly if, if they exist, there'll be a video over on the other channel. Um, now I don't know whether I think they may just be too big. Um, so what I'm going to do is not do anything fancy. Basically, hole in the middle, down to the right size. Put the ring, put the ring on. Try it out. If it's too not very too big, I can make it a smaller one and put a smaller ring on, and we can just tweak it around to to get something that uh, I'd like. Um, so yeah, so that's where we are on that. Uh, let's have a look at the little. Um, oh yeah, so the things. Um, Oh yeah, I've got a little, started to collect a, a little tin to put a few nuts and bolts in. Stole that idea from um, Susanna. Um, so uh, yeah, just starting to get some bits and bobs. Uh, and, and again, another little bit of craziness, or I don't know, it's logic, let me see. You can see where the screw is. What I was trying to do, that holds the rack on. I had this logic of let's make all the slots point downwards so when you're cleaning the bike actually any junk falls outwards that one's not perfectly down but um, yeah so I'm going to try and do things like that so then you don't get a build up if, it, if it's going the other way so little things seem to please my mind um, let's have a look at the thing uh, oh yeah Handlebar grips, there was quite a lot of, you know, I'm very grateful for all the comments from everyone else. The Ergo 3 grips, everyone was uh, saying they, they were a good idea, so I will get a set of those um, for for this. Okay, um, well, that's sort of really where we are now. Um, so I am actually, the plan was to make this video after my hip hop but it did get delayed so i decided to uh, do it a bit in advance so once i've had the operation then i'll just continue this sort of re reassemble it. i don't think really i've got too much to get out of our grips um and some tires really um, and then i've got pretty much everything else here just to, to reassemble it oh some cables so obviously i'm going to put all new brake cables and gear cables on so we're quite close. Um, I have got a few ideas for the front radio, um, whether whether it will work. I mean, it's yeah, yeah, but um, but we'll see. That that's just um, you know a nice to have. And and um, who knows, I may end up just with one chambering on. But anyway, that's the uh, that's where we've got to so far on the Brompton Tourer. So uh, I think this video is going to come out in June. So. Uh, we're, um, I won't be back here in the workshop until um, August, I think. Um, so we'll probably uh, not progress. We won't do a video till after then. Okay, so many thanks for watching. Um, uh, stay happy, strong and healthy. Be adventurous. Okay, cheerio.